Hi, Porik here from Attitudes and welcome to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a 3D room within After Effects. We're going to add some text to the 3D room to give it a nice effect. Before we start, for this tutorial, you're going to need two textures, okay? You're going to need a texture you can use for a floor and a texture you can use for a wall. You can either, you, if you have ride gear from Video Copilot, that's fine, you can use the grungy textures in there. Or if not, you can, you know, look for your own textures or look for stock free, uh, sorry, big pardon, royalty free stock photos. Or if not, create your own textures yourself. Either way, once you have the textures you want, we're going to start. The first thing we do is import the textures into our project. I used this one here, Grunge 6 and Grunge 15 in grayscale. Okay and I opened them up and I brought them in here and then just to keep things organized I right clicked on floor and I typed in the name and I did the same with the wall texture I renamed it to wall I was like this okay so we're gonna take the wall texture first okay ignoring floor for the moment we're gonna make a new composition with this so we left click drag it down to new composition and it's in our timeline now, we need to take this box here right now for to make this a 3D layer. But if you have this instead, and you're going, where's my tick box? Just press F4 until you get to this, and you're ready to go. So we're going to take this, make it a 3D layer. Now, we know it's a 3D layer because we have a green arrow and a red arrow, which indicate axes. But for right now, all we're going to do is go to the rotation tool. You can click up here, or press W. Just to keep the proportion of this, we're going to left click and hold down and press shift and then move it left or right till you get dead center like this and then simply you go to the selection tool or press V in between these two points I'm going to left click and hold down and then I'm going to move my mouse left and bring this texture over here okay but there is fine now to remember where this is and how to do what we're going to do again Remember that the, the line here, or the dot used to, you know, expand the size, is right underneath the actual composition. So it's nice to remember things like that. So now we're going to click on the wall, and we're going to press Control and D. Okay, and that duplicates the, the layer. We click on the bottom one, make sure we're on Selection Tool, and left click, hold down, and drag it across. Okay, and as you can see, I know that it's just about right because I'm making sure the dot is on the same place so about there is fine uh, actually I can bring that in just a little bit about there okay now we're going to need to duplicate again so we click on the bottom layer and we press ctrl D again now we click the bottom one go to our selection tool and we're going to drag this left click and hold down drag this to the middle to about there and let go we're going to go back to our rotation tool and press W going to move it rotation tool over here we're going to left click hold down press shift and we're going to turn it till it's facing us full on like so and make sure you go back to your selection tool and we're going to just level this up and match it a little bit okay so about there but you can do this later on because we're going to push this back anyway in towards the 3d picture just to give it a nice nicer 3d effect so move your mouse make sure you're on selection tool Move your mouse over the blue little bit here until you get Z, okay? And then just simply left click, hold down, and move your mouse left or right till it starts going backwards. Okay, and you want it to go all the way backwards until mm, just about there, okay? Even in a little bit. Now, if you go back to your, make sure you're on selection tool, let's say. And you can see down the bottom there's a bit of a gap, okay? So if we level this up here and try and get the wall to, to match up, and that's fine. You could take more time in this, but as this is just a tutorial, I'll just give you a rough idea. So now we have our wall done, but we have one more thing to do, and that's our ceiling. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go down to the bottom one here, click it, and then press Control and D. Okay? Now we have an extra wall uh, texture ready to use. So we're going to go to our rotation tool, click here or press W. And we're going to left click, hold down, and then press Shift, and then move our mouse up. And this is going to bend this texture right out until it's straight like this. We'll go back to our selection tool, or V. In between this point and the first uh, dot that you can expand on, we're going to left click, hold down, 
I'm going to move this so it goes up here. Okay, about there. Now, now we have our ceiling, but it looks a bit kind of bit too um, textured to be a ceiling. So, what we do is we take left click on this top dot up here and press shift and just expand it out. Okay, just move it out until it looks a bit more grainy because that gives it a, a better effect. Okay, so you can you can do it with this side as well. Oh, whoops. You can do it with this side as well. Okay, just expand it out. Do whatever you like. Just gives it a nicer effect. So that's it. There, walls done, and we've got our ceiling done now. So now we're just missing our floor. So we go back up to our project window. We left click our floor, hold it down. We're going to drag this right into our composition here. Okay. So now you can see the floor is in the background there. Now again, we have to make this a 3D texture. So we click here, and it pops forward. And we're going to go to our rotation tool, press W, or click there. And we're going to left click, hold down, and press shift, and move our mouse up or down till we get a flat one like this. And we go back to our selection tool. We have left click in between these two spots, hold it down, and we're just going to push it down onto the floor. Okay. And that's it. That's your 3D room done. But as this still looks like a 2D image, and because I know some of the textures aren't matched up very well, but we can't see it because it's 2D, we're now going to make this 3D. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go to Layer, we're going to go to New, and we're going to go to Camera. Now you can ignore everything here, okay, all these bits here. All you need to know is that the preset is on 35mm. If it's not, you need to click it, and put it on 35 and then click OK. Now you see our room has pushed back into a more of a 3D depth. And if we go to the camera tool now, or press C, and if we move up and down, you can see this texture isn't aligned. Okay? So we go back to the selection tool, we click on the floor, we take this box and we drag it out, right out, and there we go, that's fixed. And if you go back to your camera tool and look around and fix any other things that are like that, like the ceiling, well, that's fine, and walls. But as you can see for now, we have a basic 3D room, okay? It's not fantastic, but it is a nice 3D room we can use for different effects. And if you have really nice textures, you can apply them to the walls and ceilings and make it look a lot better. For now, what we're going to do is, we're going to leave this like this, okay? We could add a light here, but I'm not going to do that for this tutorial, because I think for, for the moment, you just need to work with this. So now that that's done, we're going to add an adjustment layer, okay? So we go to Layer, New, and Adjustment Layer. And there it is in our timeline, our composition. Now, while we have that selected, we're going to go to our text tool up here, horizontal type. Just click anywhere in your preview window and just type whatever you like. I'll type edit shoots. Okay. Now you can resize the text here. Um, sorry, once you have it selected, left click and highlight it like you would on Word or anything else. And then you can resize it. Okay, I like it about there. And you can make it bold or change the, the gap between the letters, anything you like. But for now, that's going to do for me. Now remember that this needs to be uh, this needs to be made into a 3D layer also. So you're going to need to click on this box up here. Okay. Now we have the green and red arrow. So we're going to take our text and we're going to move it to where we want. Using our selection tool. Uh, about there is fine. Now if you go to your camera tool. And you click it or press C. Now when you move around, you can see the text stays in the same position, and it gives a nice 3D effect. And there you go. Now later on I'm going to do a tutorial on how to animate this box, and how to make keyframes to make this box move around. But for now, all I ask you to do is to save this as a project that we can use later on. So we're going to go to File, Save As, and let's call this Edit Shoots Project. Okay? Now if you save it as that, click save, the next tutorial when I'll be doing more about animating this box and also adding some effects that are really cool on colours and lights, you'll have this all ready to go with your own textures and your own word. Well that's all for now from Attitudes and from this tutorial. I hope this has been useful to you and I hope to see you in the next tutorial where I'll be animating this box, adding colours, lightings and effects. Thanks for watching, this is Porik, bye bye.